Barbie girls. Today, I will teach you on how to use the WayPad Audio Editor on your Android or smartphone in just one click away. But first, if you're new to this channel, please click like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for notification. You may also comment and share this video. Let's start. WavePad is an app that works for editing and recording audio. You can record and make professional edits to music and voice on. WavePad Audio Editor. This app is fantastic. It was simple to use. And I could edit an audio file in seconds. I recommended this to all of you. Now, let's begin this tutorial. You will need to download the app from App Play Store and search the WavePad Audio Editor free by MCH Software. Once the app is installed into your Android phone, tablet or any smartphone, open the WavePad Audio Editor app. You will see on this phone screen the home page of the WavePad. Click the file and choose import from folder. Then select audio or music. You want to edit that already saved in your phone. Or create a new track to record a new audio. You need to press file and select new recording. Then the next screen. There are five different options to record the track. Press on the largest. Circle co-track. To stop the recording, press pause. The recording will delete and start over. When you finish recording, you press the square, which is stop. The recording will save automatically. If you want to record another audio, press the arrows. Once the track is created, press save and it will take you to the first screen. That you saw it while. You can see the oldest edge, audio tracks. You choose the track that you recorded in. Then go to edit. It will take you to this new screen with many options to modify the audio. Some of the options are select, cut, copy, create, undo and trash. We will use the options. Delete for certain parts of our recording that we don't want. For the select the part that you want to delete, then press delete. You can also select the part of recording and copy to another part, or cut it out directly. If there is something you did not like, you can undo it, or redo it. In sound effects, you can touch up the audio, balancing the whole recording, regulating high and low tones, creating silences and so forth. Once the changes have been made, you save the recording with a new title to distinguish the final edited version from the others. You save the audio in a folder specific to these recordings for you. It's easier to find. Once save an edited audio, click on more options and then check. Thanks for watching.